Yo, what's up everyone? Kevin here. Welcome to the Snowboard Pro Camp live chat. Uh, we're doing the live chat a little bit late today. Uh, just some things came up, but still stoked to talk to you guys on Friday. Um, a few quick things. If you guys haven't yet, subscribe here to Snowboard Pro Camp. Hit the bell if you want to be notified every time I go live. <clears throat> if you guys want access to the bonus live chat at the end of this one, hit that join button and become a member. Awesome way to support the channel. You can also do a super chat if you want to support the channel and get your question answered. Um, also, uh, the High Cascade Snowboard Camps. Uh, so if you're interested in doing a summer snowboard camp in Oregon this summer, we've just opened up session three. So week three, there's a link to that below in the description. If you want to come snowboard with me, use promo code um, or, uh, SBC2023. It unlocks a bunch of different perks to the camp. Uh, so that you can come and actually do some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, get some, uh, get some, be part of um, clinics on the snow, and there's like a bunch of other bonuses there too. But uh, let's get into the questions. If you guys have any questions for me about snowboarding, about summer snowboarding, <clears throat> if you're down south in New Zealand or Australia, and you have any questions about the upcoming winter, uh, hit me up. But uh, yeah, we'll be on here for the next about an hour to answer any of your guys' questions. So we've already got 20 people in the chat, 10 likes. Awesome. Let's say what's up to some of the early, early people in the chat. We got Bad Riders on here. We got Kazoo MC. Uh, we've got Jaden. What's up? Jaden wants to know what day are you riding at Mammoth? So I'm not exactly sure, but it's going to be like early June. So maybe like the second, uh, like June 2nd around there, we'll be starting to snowboard in, in Mammoth, but it's going to be early, early June <clears throat> for two weeks, for about the first two weeks. Jaden, you're riding in Mammoth as well. That's awesome. Uh, well, I'll see you there. Yeah, hope, hopefully see you there early June. Um, yeah, what else is going on, guys? What's up? What's everyone up to? It's, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of a weird time in snowboarding. It's, it's like in between, it's kind of like the end of the North America or Northern Hemisphere season and just at the beginning of the, of the Southern Hemisphere season. So really interesting time in between, right in between. Um, NH Custom Tattoo Shop says, what's the difference in the different camps. Um, what do you mean by that? What do you mean like different camps? Um, so like at High Cascade, they have for the adult sessions, they have three, it's basically three different weeks of camps. And uh, they're all, I think they're all the same. It's the same like structure for all three weeks. Um, and they're called just session one, session two, session three. I think they have some different like uh, guests for each week. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in coming out, check out session three and, um, I think session one and two are all sold out except for maybe just like day coaching, but there's the, um, op option for, I think there's still some spots in session three. Meek says hitting mammoth in early June. Awesome. Yeah. Early June is, uh, at mammoth is, is I think it's going to be super fun and at mammoth because, there's just like so many, uh, like there's so many people that live in California and Mammoth is one of those spots where people kind of drive from all the neighboring cities. So coming up from San Diego or across from San Francisco, up from LA. So there's, I think the vibe in Mammoth early June is going to be really high. Uh, happy is saying that it's the mountain biking season now. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, mountain biking is super fun too, but snowboarding, there's still some snowboarding going around. Bad Rider says, hey Kev, we have a new member to shout out. Awesome, who's the new member? Who is it? Um, who am I missing? Did I miss the new member? Oh, I can see that there's like a green box on top of something. Welcome to Team SPC. I can't see who it is. I can't see who the new member is for some reason. 
I can see, oh, Adam, did you like, did you gift somebody a membership? I can't tell. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm actually back in Vancouver for the moment and heading back to uh, Oregon for a couple of last couple of last days of the spring session. So that should be really fun too. Um, that was one of the topics I was thinking of that we could discuss in the live chat today too is is like the the snowboard I guess snowboard culture in 2023 because um, yeah I think I've seen some differences there's some different stuff going on in snowboarding recently uh, especially like this uh, past spring it, it kind of seemed really a little bit different there's something different going on and I want to discuss it with you guys Bad Rider says, we got 10 centimeters of fresh snow last night. T minus 15 days till Aussie season kicks. No way. The Austra Australian season starts in 15 days. That's amazing. Oh, Alina Zinchenko is our newest member. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks for becoming uh, a member. Elena Zinchenko. Yeah, legend. She's been in the chat uh, uh, tons this last year. That's amazing, awesome. I think that's. I think we're hovering, hovering around like twenty members, so that's pretty amazing. Um, yeah, it'd be good to know what you guys think too. Like, what are what are your guys' thoughts on the snowboard uh, culture, snowboard community, like the whole vibe of snowboarding in twenty twenty three? Because I think it's uh, it's different. I don't know if it's different everywhere, but I've I've definitely been feeling that it's a little bit different. At, at the moment, but maybe before I tell you guys what I think, uh, maybe you guys can share a bit what you guys think of, of snowboarding in, in 2023. Baden says, just got the new LibTech box knife board. So excited to ride it in 15 days. Oh, awesome. Baden, you're riding in Australia too. Um, sweet. Yeah, I think you're going to like that board. LibTech box knife. It's... Uh, it's a super, I think, really fun park board. Not too stiff, not too soft. Um, you got the magnet traction. The super fun board. Yeah, Bad Rider says uh, we had a heavy members chat on the state of snowboarding. So yeah, I was kind of thinking similar to that, but a little bit different, like snowboard, snowboard culture in 2023, maybe how it's changed, how it's a little bit different. Day Job Shredder says, I'm pretty new to the sport, but I've had tons of good vibes with the community. Haven't met anyone uh, that wasn't, was anything but welcoming. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about too. Um, NH Custom Tattoo Shop says, it's more like gymnastics. I guess, yeah, parts of it are a little bit more like gymnastics and kind of like uh, trampoline contests and the, the number of spins and everything like that. It's getting... It's getting up there. But yeah, like what Day Job Shredder was saying, um, <clears throat> I've really noticed this at, in, like for me what's changed about snowboarding is, and in 2023 is that, like the, the whole like friendliness vibe of snowboarding is definitely, I think, gone to the next level in terms of like, when I've been up riding this past month, it seems like everyone is so is like super friendly outgoing if i start talking to one person who's you know talking about snowboarding and maybe we like do a lap together or something and then i meet somebody else like then those people like two two people that i thought didn't know each other now they're friends and they're friends with these other people and the whole thing is becoming more and more like just everybody like knows each other or if you don't know everybody you know like a certain couple of people and so everyone is just like super friendly. Everyone is, uh, man, encouraging each other with with uh, like progression. Everyone's helping to film each other. Um, I feel like it's one of those snowboarding has really turned into one, into one of those things where you can meet like another snowboarder and just like you're like instantly friends. And then you're you know you're filming, you're encouraging each other, you're kind of just riding, having a good time, and making friends that way too, like seeing people 
like the last month at in uh, in Timberline, just seeing friends, making friends with different friend groups, um, and then yeah, I, a few times in the last month, I've like met up with somebody to snowboard, and they like know all the same people that maybe I know or like vice versa. And it's like a really cool, like positive, um, it's, I think it's like really turned like into like the, something next level. There's like a next level, like good vibe happening and snowboarding, I think. And I don't know if it's like that's happening everywhere, but it's definitely feeling like, like something is, something is kind of taking it to the next level. So that's, that's pretty cool. So for me, yeah, snowboarding in 2023, it's, uh, I would, I would kind of describe it as like this, like, um, sort of like the friendliness has gone up. We were actually doing a hike, uh, at Mount Hood and there was a dude who was like doing the hike with us. And he like mentioned that he mentioned how like the snowboard community is like that much more friendly. Um, so yeah, that really stood out to me. So yeah, I've been feeling it. I don't know if you guys have been feeling it, but the friendliness really feels like it's, and it's at an all time high. Bad riders, I think, I think the culture has diluted a fair bit, but the thing that hasn't changed is the stoke for the sport. I like the on mountain vibe, how easy it is to strike up a convo on the chair. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's it. I feel like it's, it's, easier than ever just to uh, talk to someone, make friends, have that, feel that positive vibe. Only sport will I'll, where I'll start the day on my own and by the end of the day, I'll be ripping through trees with six other people. Yeah, that's absolutely it. That's it right there. Uh, Kim, so according to your experience compared between with Niseko Cardrona, which one is better in terms of accessibility slash cost to reach there if you travel from Canada? Oh, interesting. Okay, so Niseko, Japan versus Cardrona, New Zealand. Which one is better in terms of accessibility slash cost to reach there? I mean, I think Japan is probably a little bit cheaper um, cause it's a cheaper flight. It's definitely a cheaper flight. So to Queenstown, New Zealand, it's a, more like $2,000 Canadian from Vancouver where Japan is around 1300. Um, accessibility, uh, Cardrona is not as accessible cause you basically the, from Queenstown, you drive to Wanaka and that's kind of your Wanaka would be your home base. But Wanaka to Cardrona is still like a 45 minute drive. And it's like a, a winding drive up a mountain where if you go to Japan, you're more like staying pretty close to the base anywhere you are. You're not really that far. So for cost, accessibility, um, yeah, Japan is definitely is cost less and is more accessible for sure. But you're really talking about two different trips too because Japan is on our winter. So it's uh it's it's a it's a lot different. Uh, where Cardrona is like that's like a summer snowboard trip and you're heading down south to their winter. Um but yeah, so Japan on both of those is easier easier to get to and cheaper for sure. Um, bad riders, cheaper flight and cheaper lift passes. Um, I think the lift tickets are probably around the same price. I'm not sure how much a Cardrona lift ticket is, to be honest. I'm going to guess it's around like $80 Canadian. And I think, um, Japan is like, Niseko is around 80 Canadian as well. Um, happy says, how about Chile and Argentina? Um, well, I haven't, I haven't done a snowboard trip to Argentina, but, uh, Chile is like, yeah, super, like is an amazing experience for doing a snowboard trip. I think the best month to go is in August. That's when we went and we were told that August is the best time to go because 
that's so I think July is a big um, all the the school kids are out so it's it's a bit more busy where August is pretty quiet and uh, yeah for, for Canadians going to Chile it's like not the easiest flight I think you have to like I f flew from Vancouver to Texas to like Dallas Texas I think and then Dallas to S Santiago um, it's quite the long flight maybe it's maybe 20 hours it took me total um, with like late stopovers and, and connecting flights and everything maybe not quite 20 hours maybe like seven, 18 hours um, and then once you're in uh, San Santiago then you can like rent a car and go to the different resorts but um, I think Chile is Fairly like uh, after you get there, like the flight can be expensive, I think. But once you're there, uh, things aren't that expensive, like accommodation, food, um, lift tickets. It's all pretty like uh, decently priced. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to visit Argentina at some, some point soon. Uh, Dave Job Shredder, tomorrow has finally come. Getting out to learn to wakeboard. Awesome, man. That's going to be super fun. Uh, wakeboarding is is awesome for sure. It's definitely like, it's it's tiring though. You can definitely, there's a lot of like upper body like strength, like pulling yourself up. Um, but yeah, have fun with it. Are you doing the cable park uh, wakeboarding are you or are you waking, uh, wakeboarding behind a boat? I've done both. I've mostly done behind a boat and I've done the cable park like uh, one day, I think. But both are really fun. Jessica says, I am switching to a Burton board this year. Should I go ahead and go for step on bindings and boots or wait until they get better in a few years? I love my Vans boots. <laughs> um, I mean, I think... If you love the Vans, I would stick with the Vans boots and just go for the traditional uh, strap-in bindings. Um, yeah, it's kind of a gamble with the step-ons. You might you might like them. Um, I think like step-ons are are good if you just want to do like groomer laps. Um, but if you really like the Van, if you love Van boots, then I would just stick with them. And just go with the traditional. Which uh, which Burton board are you going for? Bad Riders building on the state of snowboarding. What's the view on retailers in the modern market space? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's a good that's a good point. Yeah. So I think like snowboard shops and things, they used to be like more more like niche. You get those like more hardcore snowboard shops. I guess that would turn into skateboard shops in the summer. Or like would be like a ski snowboard kind of um, combo through the winter. And then they might do something else in the summer like sell patio furniture. Um, but I think it, it has changed I guess in like a couple of ways, like, um, I feel like the smaller places are probably, it's harder for the smaller guys to like stay afloat because there's like so much, um, online stuff going on. There's like bigger snowboard shops. I know like snowboards are now like in places like bigger box stores. Um, so I guess there's, there's like more, there's more ways to buy snowboard gear that I guess there's more there's more competition. There's more choice. Um, I think that stuff is good. Um, but I think, yeah, it's still good to support your, like your local snowboard shop. I kind of think of like, uh, for me, when I was living in Whistler, um, the, uh, you know, going into a shop like the circle in Whistler, it was like, that was, you know, it's a smaller, just privately owned, st um, store. And usually they had like all the good stuff too. Like if I went shopping throughout the village, like looking for say like a pair of mitts or a pair of boots, I would always end up at the circle buying my gear by the end of the, of the rounds just because they, 
they were a bit more like dialed in to like what was what was good. So I would say that there's more choices now and there's more like online stuff. Um, but I would say like, yeah, the, the best is always like the small, the small shop. Another example, so yeah, there's the Circle and Whistler. Another example of like a small place is uh, the Recess uh, Snowboard Shop in, uh, in uh, Boone, North Carolina. So like that was TJ and my friend Garrett's like home, like home shop by their home like resort, uh, ski resort. And, uh, and like going into that place too, it's just like they have, like everything they have is like the good is like good stuff. You're not you're not having to sort through like, you know, uh, like ten, a thousand different snowboards looking for the right one because they have like say, thirty good snowboards, like thirty of like the the best ones. So that's kind of like a bonus if you shop at your a small local place is that it's usually a bit more dialed into the the good gear. Cam says thanks a lot for the detailed information. Yeah, no problem, Cam. Time to roll says, hi, Kevin, you should go to China's Northeast for snowboarding at some point. It's cheaper and value for money. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely would love to go to China at some point for a big snowboard trip. Um, I think that this winter, the plan, our like one trip, our one main trip is going to be going to India to uh, Gulmarg in the Himalayas. So that's like, I think, scheduled for around uh, late late January uh, for like a maybe a three week trip. So at the moment we're going to do India first, but yeah, I heard some amazing things about um, Northern China and uh, yeah, we'll make that happen at some point, maybe, maybe the following winter, maybe two winters from now. Uh, Day job shredder says I found two cable parks nearby. We'll be learning there. And if I vibe, and it and I'll probably get my own setup to go regularly. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, super fun. Where where is it? Where where are you from again, Day Job Shredder? Are you from you're the one from uh you're from Vegas, right? Jessica Jones says, Thanks, Vans for Life. Yeah, I mean I've been loving my Vans boots as well and don't think I could uh I can't I can't trade them in. Thomas says, hi from Chile. I'm going to work and travel to the US for next season. Do you have any advice? Which ski center do you recommend uh, me to go to? Oh man. I mean, there's so many good ones. I don't know. I would say, oh, it's a tough, it's <laughs> um, like, yeah, I, like I really liked, um, I really loved like Lake Tahoe for the amount of resorts, the vibe, the vibes at the mountains, that was pretty cool. Man, I don't know, Thomas. I don't know where to, to recommend you go to. If you come to Canada, Whistler is really cool. Um, um, yeah, there's some incredible places in Utah. Um, man, there's just, there's too many. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. For work, it's hard, it's hard to say for work. Um, yeah, but man, hope you uh, pick a good one and, and enjoy it. Bad Riders with the super chat. Thanks, Bad Riders. Um, he's saying, members topic for the day. Future gear collabs. Oh, wow. The black snowboard of Kev. Uh, what brands would Kev like to collab with in future projects? Okay, I like it. So that is for the, uh, the members topic. Okay, cool. So bonus... For the bonus chat after this one, we will talk about future gear collabs. I like it. Jessica Jones says, highly recommend Recess. Beach Mountain is usually my spot. Oh, no way, you're from North Carolina. Awesome. Yeah, what, a, what an amazing place. L Stacker Adventures is on the chat. What's up, L Stacker? 
Aaron says Mammoth is a good one. Yeah, for sure. For working for a season, Mammoth would be super fun. Good day job, Shredder. I, I live in Illinois. Oh, so I'm from the Midwest. There is a cable park in Rockford, Illinois and Crystal Lake, Illinois. Okay, awesome. Yeah, okay, so you got a couple good, good spots out there. Uh, Ella uh, Tandro says, are you, are you coming to Perisher, Australia this season? Um, I'm not sure. I'm like, uh, yeah, right now, I haven't really looked past um, this July and being in, in Mount Hood, like Timberline Resort in Mount Hood. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'd love to check out Perisher again. Um, but yeah, hopefully get down south to like New Zealand, possibly Australia for um, a few months. Thomas, what job do you recommend uh, me to do in the center? Lift operator, rental, restaurants, etc. I mean, if you can work in a restaurant, that could be like the best call just because then if you work in the restaurant and you're getting more like um, evening shifts, then you can like snowboard during the day and then work at the restaurant at night. So yeah, that could be, that could be the way to do it. All right, so I thought Adam was calling me out for the lack of uh, uploads. Um, what did you guys, did you guys catch the last upload on the channel? It was the one um, with, uh, with Aaron from Downslope uh, Mobile, mobile uh, waxing and tuning up my snowboard. Uh, I'm just wondering if you guys caught that video and, and what you thought of it. We got Chronic on the chat. He says, hey, how's it going? Yeah, really good, really good, man. Um, yeah, loving the spring riding and gonna get back to it really soon. Yeah, how are you doing? Uh, Bad Rider is commenting on the last video. It says, yeah, that was full of some good tips. Yeah, Aaron had like a lot of good knowledge there. I picked up a ton from him. Um, <clears throat> There was like more in the video too that um, it was kind of tricky because like it was like windy, the generator was going. So it wasn't always like the most like clear audio, but I try to keep in as much of the good, good advice as he had as possible. And yeah, he was really knowledgeable with uh, the snowboard tuning and waxing. I think this, uh, yeah, this winter I would really like to get down to New Mexico, ride a Taos, hopefully meet up with Aaron and his buddy Bo down there and uh, get some riding in in New Mexico. Oh, Kazoo says, Wax Guy was awesome. That was very good reference. Awesome. Yeah, so good to hear. El Stacker saying, Cannonball the like button. Yeah. Excuse me. Cannonball the like button for me shaving, trimming off my mustache. Look at that, the mustache is gone. Give this video a like if you're happy to see the mustache gone. <laughs> oh, here's a poll for the for the chat. Should I grow the mustache back? Uh, should I keep the beard, or should I just completely shave and go clean? What does the chat what, is, what does the chat say say about that? Should we do clean face, beard, or mustache? Oh, Bad Riders has already picked up some rubbing alcohol for his tuning setup. Nice. Yeah, I got to do that as well. That was a really good tip. Chronic saying, plan to watch it later. I'm really happy there's finally a video about tuning because I've been really curious about it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he was like, yeah, Aaron was super knowledgeable. 
I'd actually do another video with him too. Like he just is really good on camera. Um, yeah, maybe if we get the chance, we'll do a, an even more in-depth uh, tuning video. L Stacker says, I need to catch up on the videos. Yeah, L Stacker, what's your plans for the summer? Are you coming to Mount Hood at all? Are you going to be working hard through the summer um, and, and saving up for winter? What's your plans, man? Uh, Aaron says, it was a cool video. Always nice to see how others maintain snowboards. Yeah, absolutely. It's always uh, it's always good to like learn like learn from other people for sure. Yo, we got Rob Gams in the chat. What's up, Rob? Thanks for hopping in. Rob from Brisbane, Brisbane, New, New Zealand, uh, New Zealand, Brisbane, Australia. Uh, NH Custom Tattoo Shop says, what do you recommend we do for summer no, st uh, no snow freestyle training? Um, I think like the best thing for freestyle training is to, I mean, two things, or maybe three things. If you can skateboard, sk skateboarding is really great for that. Um, also visiting a trampoline center, someplace where you can work on like your spins, like air awareness, uh, flips even so trampolining helps a lot with like getting comfortable on jumps and uh, yeah for for like boxes and tubes and rails like just making your own like uh, uh, training setup so you can get like uh, tape some shoes to a, um, a skateboard deck and then fill a two liter bottle uh, pop bottle up and tape it closed and just like train on that so I've got a, a few videos out there on like off-season training. Uh, check those out. But yeah, there's a, a few things you can do. Skate, trampolining, and uh, just like a jib trainer setup. <laughs> L Stacker says, we barely even recognize you anymore. Awesome. <laughs> Chronic says half clean, half beard, half, half clean. Well, like this half, like <laughs> half clean, half beard. Oh, Aaron saying beard and mustache combo is good. Oh no. So I got to bring back the mustache. L Stacker saying clean. I, I just went clean this morning. Okay. Wow. Bad Rider saying no L Stacker shaved. I mean, if L Stacker's wearing one of those like dust, dust masks for, for painting in that, you definitely get better suction with a clean face. Kazoo, I'm interested in the wax itself too. What was the black wax? Yeah, that was like a special like graphite wax. And yeah, I don't know how common it is. I don't know a ton about wax, but Everyone was telling us that's like the best wax to use um, for the spring conditions up at Mount Hood. So that's why we had that like black graphite wax. Rob Gams, goggles or sunglasses for spring summer riding? Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, everyone, let, let us know in the chat what is the go to for spring summer riding? Is it sunglasses or goggles? Uh, for me, it's sunglasses. Um, just they're more comfortable. Um, I don't know. They just feel, you feel like a bit more like, uh, like get more like a bit of a breeze in your face, which is nice. The goggles can kind of be a bit restrictive and feel like a little bit warm on your head. So I like sunglasses. However, if there is like too much wind, uh, it's good to have the goggles or else like too much wind, make your eyes water. So if it gets too windy, I'll, I'll bust the goggles out. L Stacker says, I plan on Mount Hood. Awesome. And working hard so we can come to Canada. Nice. All right, so the guys are doing a 
a Canada trip in 2024. Uh, that's awesome. Who's all coming back? Is the whole Aussie crew coming back? Same group? Is Adam going to join this time? Oh, Roto Rooster saying I hit day 104 today at Mammoth. I just saw the live stream. When are you coming to Mammoth? Uh, yeah, early June. So for like about almost about two weeks. So first couple of weeks of June, going to be at Mammoth. Um, yeah, heading down, going to stay with uh, TJ and Jonathan. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. How's uh, Roto Rooster? How's it looking out there? What are the conditions like? Bad Rider says, Rob's from Oregon. Okay. I'm like getting people mixed up. I'm sorry, Rob. Of course. Yeah, Rob from Oregon. I'm like way off. I'm thinking of somebody else. Oh, Gabriel Sicaria's on here. What's up, Gabe? Hey, Gabe. How's it going, dude? How's Mexico? <laughs> Rob is from Portland, Oregon. Yeah, I'm thinking of somebody else. Day Job Shredder says, Kevin, have you been able to get some time on the summer board? I've been trying to commit to one hour a day to progress. Switch is slowly clicking and I'm starting to carve harder on the trails. Awesome. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been riding the summer board. It's like the roads where I am, there's not like good roads for summer boarding. My roads are like full of cracks and potholes and, and hills and traffic. So I haven't been doing much summer boarding around here. But yeah, lots of snowboarding. Snowboarding uh, is coming. Kazoo says... And and I watched your review of the Vans High Standard Pro. I'm considering 32 Lashed or that one. Do you have any suggestion which is better per your personal opinion? Uh, my personal opinion is the Vans High Standard Pros are much better. Um, they're a little bit stiffer. Uh, so if the Lashed are like soft, the High Standard Pros are like just like a medium um, stiffness, like and they do actually, they do get softer fairly quick. Um, but the Vans, I think, are more comfortable. Uh, the laces are better. They've got, like, the power strap at the top. So for me, like, just all around, I think the, the Vans are better. Bad Riders, have you got any days on the black wax yet? Um, yeah, so I rode with that wax on for a couple days and it felt super good. Yeah, the board felt amazing. It was riding fast and good and uh, yeah, it made a big, big difference. I think spring riding really like tears up the base of your board. So, you know, getting, you know, Aaron did an incredible job, but I think he's actually gone now back to New, Mexi uh, New Mexico. So I'm going to have to keep the board tuned up myself. Chronic saying sunglasses, rotor rooster, sunglasses. Rob Gams, I feel like my sunglasses are going to fly off, especially when I take a spill. Uh, yeah, they do. They, do. <laughs> they definitely do fly off sometimes. I've had mine fly off a few times. Uh, Kazoo says, I fall off um, sunglasses and break often while snowboarding. Do you have any tips to keep it on the eyes? Um, I don't. They do fly off. <laughs> they do fly off sometimes. I guess that's the, that's the catch with wearing sunglasses. L Stacker saying, I think Adam is ready for a chuck vacation. Awesome. He's ready to uh, experience the chuck.
Von Shreds, what's up Von Shreds? How's it going, man? When are you coming back to Mount Hood? What's your what's your plan, Esteban? Are you gonna are you staying back in Minnesota or are you gonna make the trip back to Oregon? Gabriel says, good. Awesome dude. Yeah, when are you, are you guys gonna come back uh, to Whistler snowboarding? Or are you gonna stay down? Are you staying down in Mexico? What's your plan? And yeah, how's your progression? How's your surf progression? Are you as good of a surfer as you are a snowboarder? How's that going? Aaron says, heck yeah, you should vlog those days in Mammoth. Uh, definitely going to have a, a few vlogs coming from Mammoth. If you guys have any like video request, uh, requests too, let me know. If there's like a vlog you want to see, a uh, review, anything like that, um, let me know. And Gabriel wants to know, or Gabe, Gabe wants to know, how is Wiss? Um, actually, I haven't been in Whistler for a while. So um, right now I'm in Vancouver. Uh, last this past month, I was mostly at Mount Hood in Oregon, and heading back there soon. So haven't spent much time in Whistler. <laughs> Bad Rider says, "Kev's confuse Rob F with Rob G." That is what I did. I I got the Robs confused because there is the the Rob F who live, is from Brisbane. Roto says conditions at Mammoth are sick right now. Tons of snow, plenty of corn to harvest. Parks on point. Looks like I'll miss you in June. I can't get back until the second half of June. Oh, bummer. Um, sorry, I won't see you there, Roto Rooster. Oh, there's also more Robs. Yeah, I'll stack your saying, don't forget Rob A and Rob B. <laughs> Too many Robs. Von Shred says, you still out in hood? Um, no, well, I've gone back to Vancouver for like a, a visit. So back in Vancouver for like five, I guess like six days, but I'm heading back. Yeah, I'm going back to hood, going to go to Mammoth and then back to hood again. So I'm heading back. Kazoo says, I want to try boots before buying every time, but no snowboard shop in Mississippi here. Oh, wow. Well, you could check like the return policy and um, maybe like buy a pair online, try them. And if they don't fit properly or if you don't like them, maybe like make sure the um, return policy says you can just like send them back. Von Shred says, dude, I don't even know yet. I'm really hoping I can make it out there. I'm still in the works. When are you heading back out to Hood after Mammoth? Yeah, so I'm definitely going to be at, in Mammoth, or sorry, from uh, at Hood from June 15th until at least like June 8th, or more likely like June 15th to July 15th. So that like month block, I think 100% I'll be I'll be riding at Timberline. But yeah, man, I hope you, uh, I hope you get that job and, and come back. Um, this shitty snowboarder says, the best vids are shredding pow. Yeah, I mean, those are the best days, absolutely. Pow days, I mean, I love riding park and the rest, but pow days, I think, are the best. Ooh, Von Shred said, let's get a whole shred vlog riding switch. Okay, nice, man. I like it. Yeah, switch day. Switch day at Mammoth. That would be super fun. Gabe says, no, LOL. I haven't had as much time in the water as on snow. Okay, awesome. 
Yeah, if, if anyone out there remembers uh, Gabe from some of the, he's been in a few Snowboard Pro Camp videos. And uh, yeah, he's an awesome snowboarder from Whistler. But the last, like, I would say like three years, I think it's been three years, he's been in around Mexico just like surfing. So yeah, Gabe and his family are living the dream. Bad rider, Riders, my video request. Kev needs to do a video at Falls Creek. Maybe a series of videos. Yeah, I think a series. What was that series, Adam, that we were gonna do? It was like, um, it was something to do with, with you learning the hard way. So a full teaching Bad Riders uh, series. Aaron says, I would like to see day in the life type of vlogs, like the time before, at, and after riding the slopes. All right, let's get, let's get more of those videos rolling again. That one guy says, are you in Mammoth this weekend? Uh, no, not this weekend, but soon, like June, probably like June 1st or 2nd. Kazoo says, I'm planning to live in Hakuba for the upcoming season. Do you have another plan to visit Japan? Um, no plan at the moment because I might be, I think like the next year's plan is to go to India. Um, so no Japan plans, but yeah, Japan is the best, it's best snow. Um, yeah, hope you have a good time, man. Gabe's been in Mexico for two years now. Wow. Oh yeah, Bad Habits with Bad Riders. That's a good one. That's a good series title. A shitty snowboarder says, Kev on a snow skate. That is a vid idea and a half. Yeah, I like that. Um, I mean, snow skating is tough though. I'm like, a, I think I'd be a really terrible snow skater. Maybe on like a, I'd, I'd have to do it on some like really mellow, some really mellow runs. Uh, Kazoo says India for snowboarding. Yeah, so they do. I mean, India has the Himalaya, the Himalaya mountains, sort of in the the north part of India. So some of the biggest mountains in the world are the biggest mountains in the world, and uh, yeah, there's there's some snowboarding up there. Aaron says, I always enjoyed seeing uh, go eat pizza after a long day on the mountain just as much as the riding. Okay, good to know. We'll have to get some more post-snowboard like uh, food vlogs going um, and things like that. Bad Riders. Kev, are you riding Kashmir in India? Yeah, it's going to be in Kashmir, which is... I think a fairly, it's uh, like close to the border with um, uh, Pakistan. So I think it's like, uh, it's, it's kind of one of those areas that's kind of has a little bit of ter turmoil. So you have to like see what the, the political climate is doing before you visit there. Trevor Sheik, yeah, absolutely, man. You as well. El Stacker wants to know, where is everyone watching from? Yeah, where's everyone watching from? Where are you guys? Von Shreds, at some point, we need to get you on a tow rope. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like the tow rope is, is what unlocks so much, so much snowboard progression. Um, we'll definitely... Uh, maybe next winter, go to a tow rope and just uh, join Esteban on one of his like 12 hour days on the mountain, just lapping the tow rope. That's what I want to do. Oh, so we got Chronic is from Alabama. We got Kazoo watching from Mississippi.
watching from inside my fifth wheel at a BLM campground just south of Mammoth. Awesome. What's a BLM campground? Um, <clears throat> I, was, I was kind of wondering about camping around near Mammoth and like how much it costs. So yeah, Rotor Rooster, if you have any advice for camping near Mammoth, um, yeah, that'd be good to know. Oh, Time is watching from South Korea. Awesome. A shitty snowboarder is watching from, from Northern Cali. <laughs> One Shred says, you'll be dialed by the end of the day. The reps is actually mind-blowing. Awesome. Good to know. Oh, we actually have more likes than people watching, too. Thank you guys for all the likes. Oh, Rotor says, Federal Land, Bureau of Land Management. Okay, cool. That's what, okay, that's what that stands for. Um, sweet, amazing, guys. So before I jump off of here, just a quick reminder. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Uh, to the channel hit that like button if you want to come over for the bonus live chat uh, just hit that join button and hit the join button and I will uh, be doing a bonus live chat after this one um, another way to support the channel if you want to become a member and if you guys want to come snowboarding for session three at High Cascade um, there's a link below use the promo code promo code SPC 2023 and uh, that unlocks um, the opportunity to be in a Snowboard Pro Camp video. You can have one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching with me on request. I'm going to be doing um, uh, special like group sessions up there and uh, a few other perks. So check that out below and uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming on here for the last uh, almost an hour for the Live chat, I'll be on here next week, uh, next Friday as well to talk to you guys. And what else? Yeah, I'll be in Mammoth, probably at Mammoth Mountain, California. So watch out for those videos. But yeah, appreciate everyone coming on. I uh, hope you have a good weekend and I'll talk to you guys next Friday. Awesome. See you guys. Peace.